uh, I would like to show an appreciation for this platform, Knowledge Innovation Conference, and also to show appreciation to the organizers. I'm delighted that I am opportune to present in this uh, laudable uh, platform. I'm actually affiliated to two universities in Nigeria, Babcock University, where I received my PhD, and National Open University, where I currently facilitate in the Department of Business Administration. I'm the lead author of this particular paper I'm presenting. Uh, the topic is an in investigation of innovative strategy and sustainable customer satisfaction in small, medium-sized enterprises, often called SMEs. The perspective is from Lagos State, Nigeria. My Jimmy, area of Jimmy, can Hello? you go on to full screen, please? You, we're seeing the slides at the side. Oh, thank you. Great, thanks. Is that fine? Okay, thank you. Yeah, my area of interest are uh, knowledge management, enterprise continuity, innovation, and leadership. Um, the paper has six authors. I'm the lead author of uh, the paper, which I gave the title earlier. Um, the background to the study. Usually, uh, the approach that the authors adopted was a funnel approach. Um, the global concept tying to the topic were reviewed, which was um, the advent of COVID. Uh, COVID generally has impacted the whole world negatively. And the business last landscape continues to change from US, Germany, Russia, China, and Japan, and all other parts of the world. The impact has been severe. Likewise, in Africa, the continent has received a high negative impact of COVID-19, which has resulted in high unemployment rates. We've seen businesses having low sales, high turnover of staff, and all that. This as a result of the consequence of COVID-19. The situation is not different in Nigeria. Currently, as of June, the inflation rate of Nigeria is 18.6%. This is um, a five-year high. And this was a, um, a record from National Bureau of Statistics. This has brought great challenge to businesses within Nigeria. And um, businesses continue to struggle and they are not meeting up the desired customer expectation. So um, if you agree with me, you will know that business approaches are changing with the adoption of technology, which is part of innovative process. So uh, the statement of problem of, like I mentioned, this is the trend of inflation the last 22 years in Nigeria. Um, currently at 18.6%. The statement of the problem, in recent time, we have seen more businesses reporting low or no profit. In some cases, no revenue in Nigeria post-COVID. And the business landscape is changing. And likewise, customer expectation. The case of business failure is high and prevalent in Nigeria. And the innovation and innovative strategy is rarely considered according to observations. The aftermath of the corona virus pandemic has triggered high inflation, poor supply chains, high exchange rate regime, and a host of other struggles in Nigeria. Despite the coronavirus pandemic radically altering the business operations and customer expectations, many businesses in Africa, particularly Nigeria, have stopped to the prevailing old pattern of customer service. This is the big issue, which frequently involves poor customer convenience and low customer satisfaction. Though we have seen more of innovations around technology adoption, we see this in large firms, but not in those small businesses, which is the geographical scope of uh, this study. To retain customer 
now is the focus of this study. Customers need to be retained because customers are the lifeblood of businesses and it determines the success of businesses. When you continually have declined patronage, it could affect the business continuity of any enterprise. So the research gap of this study is that several studies have looked at the relationship between innovation, innovative strategy, and business performance. Studies considering customer satisfaction as an outcome variable is cast in the context of Nigeria. Like I mentioned, customer is the lifeblood. And in some studies, we've seen that customer satisfaction is one of the measures of business performance itself. So the gap these studies uh, fulfill was to look at um, customer satisfaction itself as an outcome variable. The object of this objective of this study is to look at the purpose, the relationship between innovative strategy and sustainable customer satisfaction among selected small and medium-sized enterprises in Lagos State, Nigeria. The objective is in line with the research question and hypothesis, which were clearly drawn to address the cross of the matter. The scope of the study, SME in Nigeria, um, they have a large base. However, the focus is Lagos State, which is the economic capital of Nigeria. And Lagos is situated in the Southwest region of Nigeria. Currently, the population of SME in Lagos State, structured SME that are documented, that are, are registered with Medam. Medam is uh, the regulator of small businesses in Nigeria. We have 11,663 as at 2018. And this is what the uh, study relies on because this is um, a platform that can be um considered because of the viability and the sample size is 742 and which was uh determined which i will be talking on and the methodology stage this is the conceptual model of of the study which uh, actually addresses the research variable innovative strategy is the is the independent variable why customer satisfaction is the dependent variable, which is the why. And in order to draw up the questionnaire, um, those itemized sub variables are the cross of the questionnaires. To test the innovative strategy, uh, the researchers look at product innovation, process innovation, organizational innovation, and marketing innovation. Likewise, at the customer satisfaction side, the sub variables that were used to test uh, the satisfaction. Satisfaction is usually the feedback that we get from patronages. And this actually shows how customers are satisfied. It could be to, around the quality of the product. It could be around the operations. It could be around the brand and, and all that. So the significance of this study was actually in four uh, uh, pivotal uh, government. Uh, the study can aid policy uh, formulation and implementation. Academia it could also extend the frontier of knowledge. Society it could impact uh, a better way of doing business. Literature review. The literature review. Um, the authors deconstructed the main variable concept of small business was extensively discussed role of smes in nigeria characteristics of smes in nigeria advantages and benefits of smes in nigeria were discussed and forms of smes because we have different degree of smes in nigeria the study also captured this the innovation the types of innovation benefits of innovation was also uh, discussed under the conceptual review. The empirical review looked 
at the studies before this present study. The methodological review looked at the method that previous study that aligned with this particular study, the methods that they, they used. And um, to a large extent, most of the studies use cross-sectional um, um, methodology and survey was mainly adopted. Findings review was also captured under the uh, findings of previous authors. Likewise, uh, a theoretical review was also done and an underpinning theory was also discussed um, under the literature review. The underpinning theory was actually resource-based view. Uh, this was extensively discussed and the reason for the justification for it was also discussed in the study. Identification of variable, what informed the construct of uh, the study, which is innovative strategy and customer satisfaction was also extensively discussed in the literature review. The conceptual review, like I mentioned, types of innovations were extensively discussed, the benefits derived and the usefulness were, were actually discussed. The methodology of the study, um, because of the line of study based on the methodological review, uh, the authors also uh, justify the need to use survey in the study. Uh, as earlier mentioned, the population of the study that was considered was 11,603, which uh, is the number of currently registered SMEs in, in Lagos. The table of sample size examination uh, arrived at 742 uh, businesses in, in Lagos. Uh, the distribution of SME in Lagos is presented. Uh, the total population that were arrived at, according to uh, divisions, we have five divisions in Lagos, namely Ikorodu, Epe, Ikeja, Badagri, Lagos Island. This is the uh, how Lagos is mapped out, is in five divisions. So the study looks at those divisions, captured all the uh, population in terms of businesses, and the sample size was also uh, gotten from the total population. The table um, is presented as shown. Uh, for for the sample technique, multi-stage approach was adopted. Um, like I mentioned, five divisions, the stratified sampling. Uh, from there, we looked at simple random techniques to pick the individual uh, businesses that were involved in the administration and um, uh, where the questionnaires were administered. The method of data collection was primary. Um, research instruments used was a questionnaire. The question, copies of the questionnaires distributed to respondents were, were 742 copies. However, 687 questionnaires were returned completely filled and in line with the study. And the researchers found that 687 completed questionnaire were useful for analysis, which represents 92.6% response rates. Uh, like uh, the respondent distribution, uh, like as I mentioned, in the um, further to capture the businesses that were actually considered for the study, we looked at businesses in manufacturing sector, real estate, agriculture, and service uh, industry. So, for the questionnaire item, um, the Items of the questionnaire were adapted from literature. Um, innovative strategy measures, which are product, product, process, marketing, organization, were captured uh, from literature and they were adopted, adapted for from the literature for usage 
in this study. The perceptual model is equally uh, repeated here to show the relationship. Data treatment and model specification. Before the data were found usable, um, multicollinearity tests, normality tests, and linearity tests were performed before the parametric test of um, regression. Data analysis and data analysis, the different descriptive and inferential statistic analysis are the data analysis techniques that was adopted for this research. The descriptive looked at the distribution of uh, the businesses, the means and deviation uh, considered uh, according to the table that was shown earlier. Method of data analysis was uh, regression. It was linear because it was an objective to an objective, which is customer uh, innovative strategy to customer satisfaction. Findings of the study revealed that innovation strategy has significant effect on customer satisfaction of SME in Lagos State. In other words, more innov innovations improve customer satisfaction. And this finding is, is, incons is inconsistent with the recent studies that were captured in literature. And those um, studies were equally mentioned and cited accordingly. The contribution of this uh, study are uh, in manifold. Firstly, uh, it was a key contribution to, to theory. And because it, it further expresses the need for uh, resource theory, which uh, was used, uh, which identify innovation as a resource that business can use to improve customer satisfaction. The conceptual model of this study uh, was also a contribution. The, also, the study also contributed to knowledge by better informing businesses about the need to adopt innovative strategies at this time post COVID. Businesses cannot continue to do uh, businesses the way they've been adopting it uh, pre-COVID. Things have changed. We are in a new normal. The business landscape is changing. Customer expectations are changing. It should be foolhardy for businesses to, to remain on, this, on the same process, business process and not adopt innovation to improve uh, business and service uh, to, 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 to their customers. Recommendation. It is recommended that SME in Lagos should continuously utilize innovation, innovative strategy to enhance competitive advantage, since it may be beneficial for marketing, product, and service development. Adoption of innovation strategy can make business more entrepreneurial at this time. Um, ethical consideration for the study. Sacha ensured that eligibility and confidentiality of were maintained. The respondents' right to privacy was also fully observed. Limitation of the methodology. The researcher tried to reduce the forms of biasness while administering the questionnaire and, and many more. Other limitations include generalization. Because the focus was uh, just legal state, uh, it, and, it, and the study was, was sectional in nature. So it would be wrong to generalize as it may, because um, it, it, the data that was used was, was limited. However, um, this limitation provides opportunity and gaps for further, further studies. Um, in closing, I would acknowledge the role of co-authors because the study has different responsibilities that were handled by individual um, co-authors. We have six authors for this particular study. Uh, my appreciation goes to the research assistants that were helpful on the field, the data analysts, and Babcock University for critiquing the study and find it usable and 
are acceptable. Uh, thank you. This is my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, Timi Olubu, BME. Thank you so much. It was a very, very wonderful presentation. I apologize if I didn't say your surname correctly. <laughs> um, so basically, I definitely think it's really, really good that we can see how things are in Nigeria here in your presentation because we're hearing we're hearing different things around the world, but we haven't been able to visit Nigeria for many for, since the pandemic. So the last time I was in Nigeria actually was 20, 2017 or so. Um, so to hear, to, Nigeria has progressed so much. And so the pandemic, I can just only imagine how much it may have affected it. But some of the things you mentioned, I mean, I think that customer satisfaction is always going to be one of the most important things. And that's actually, um, what I really like about this presentation is that it's really focused on customer satisfaction, the feedback, looking for ways to improve, and, um, and about the quality of the products and, and just your, your, your interest in this area and just the, the fascination that you have to actually um, to, to present what's going on now and then giving the, the recommendations for the future. So, but I would, I would like to ask you, what do you think is the number one thing that needs to happen like out of everything that you presented, one thing moving forward that needs to happen, you know, let's say within the next six to uh, the next three to six months or the next six to 12 months to make sure that the, uh, the customer satisfaction is up to the, the standard it at least used to be or at least heading towards that direction. Uh, I would uh, react those. Most of the small businesses in Nigeria, largely they are unstructured. They do not have formality. Uh, the whole essence of this study is to um, support their performance and let them have a focus on what can actually help their businesses. Mm -hmm. Customer satisfaction is key, is the bloodline. Well, it's important for SMEs in Nigeria to consider that role of customers in their businesses going forward how can they do this feedback is is very key when you have your business and you continually receive feedback and you process this um, feedback you can have insights from yeah. such uh, feedback and know the direction of your business. By gathering those insights, you can understand customer expectations, you can understand the need of customer, you can understand the sensitivity of customers to your price and what are view. So uh, to answer your question correctly, I think businesses in Lagos should, by this study, pay more attention to customer experience. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. To say, yes, thank you so much for the good presentation, especially anything to do with Nigeria. I think we're all interested. Um, what I want to find out, you're saying that businesses should do more and so on. Financially, what has the government done to offer? Is there anything they have offered to uh, businesses to support them? For example, after or even during pandemic and after. Um, the government here, you know, they were really committed to uh, businesses and they offered them loans, they offered them grants to get them back to the business again. How about Nigeria? Anything happening there from the government to support the businesses? Thank you for that uh, very good spot on question. Um, I will react in two folds. One, um, from the government hand. Government have been helpful post pandemic, but it can never be enough. Um, what the SME sector requires is more than what the government can provide. And secondly, because of the nature of informality in Nigeria, when those funds, grants and loans are available, those big, big companies usually have the documentation. They usually have uh, the capacity to assess those loans. So um, usually the key people or the key businesses that requires this funding 
are likely not to get it because of the nature of their process, which is they are largely unstructured. So coming from uh, the angle of the businesses as well, the businesses are never ready to assess because they are enjoying uh, not paying taxes to government. Mm -hmm. Because they are enjoying not paying taxes to government, when such loans are available, they do not have the capacity to assess it. So the funds could be there for SMEs and because of lack of capacity, they are unable to assess it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So what are you doing to support them, to help them? To, is there anything you can do to help them to support it, like the law, you know, strict law to, you know, implement, to follow the system and make the system work? Because you are saying that the loans are sitting there, the money is sitting there, because they cannot meet the requirements, so some of them are not assessing it. So yes. can it just be left like that? What can be done to help them to assess this, you know, uh, loan? And is there any system to be implemented to help? Yes, um, ad ad advocacy is 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 the best we can offer. Um, giving information, I have tons of articles to support SME online. I do this weekly on week basis i give lectures on my part i try to give information that are useful because it's not enough to have funds to do business you need to have your process in place you need to understand customer expectation because when you do not focus on your customer and you focus on your business deliverable you might be getting it wrong you might have a business that is okay and you have no patronage so the point i'm trying to make is there is need for more advocacy um, from the part of the government and from the part of the um, academics who are knowledgeable in this field so that smes can better be informed on how to effectively and efficiently run businesses. Thank you. But there's one particular um, idea that's, well, it's actually stuck in my head. After having um, returned my watch to John Lewis, a very well-known company in England with an extremely good um, reputation for customer service. Um, <coughs> and uh, uh, this this watch was left in the middle of March. I got it back on Monday this week. All what happened to it was that the glass had got smashed. Now it had to go back to Denmark, but even so, it had obviously been in a drawer somewhere. And I am not very impressed by the service of the customer. And I totally agree with you about this, the serving the customer being, being so important. Yeah. But innovation. Can we carry innovation too far? and offend our customers is basically my question in business. <laughs> Thank they've, you. They've offended, for... they've offended me, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've said it all. Um, <laughs> customers are the biggest disruptor of any business. Um, if they are dissatisfied, be yes. sure your business would have issue. So, uh, I, I quite agree with you and your submission is hard. I, I cannot agree less. Um, <laughs> business will strive when you pay attention to customer experience. And oh. technology has given us the edge to analyze and to gather data sets that can help at the point of shopping. You with 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 technology, you can understand the interests of your customer. You can innovate in line with their interest. That's what I'm trying to say. When you have product and you're not getting patronage on that particular product is an indication that you should pay attention to as a business provider. When you go shopping and you know a particular uh, item, the turnover rate is high. There is mm -hmm. need to pay attention to, to, to shopping uh, or the shopping. And even time frame, you might look at a period in which you have large patronage. You might design innovation around that. Innovation is not 
just about the product alone. Innovation can evolve around the process as well. And even innovation can also evolve around the marketing of the product and services. So I, I agree with, with you. I, I just hope that businesses will pay more attention to customer than finding yes, yeah. capital to yeah. improve their businesses. And, Thank you. And the, and the big thing I could say, I'll, I'll just say from, from this particular innovation in su uh, supermarkets in England, all it does is make you go to another supermarket where you know where everything is. Um, if they keep changing everything around. But I mean, I quite understand what they're trying to do. And I, yeah, of course, they're, they're trying to market, but um, so they have brought in innovations over the years. For example, very, very useful thing where you can take used batteries and just drop them off in the store and they will recycle, you know, they will send them for recycling en masse. Very, very useful. I used it all the time. I thought better of the shop because they were doing it. Suddenly, it's all gone. They've stopped doing that. And I'm thinking, well, why? Because yes, they weren't making any money out, of it, but it was actually making me feel better about them as a customer that that store were trying to do something to help me and to help the environment. And I was quite impressed by that. So I think this innovation thing has to be really thought through from what the customer is thinking. Yeah. And unless you talk to your customers and say, are you happy with, or what are you unhappy with, as far as change is concerned, um, Innovation can actually cause you problems. So consult your customers with my. Yeah. Very well. Well said. Well said. All right.